we all agree that Boston has the superior talent. They have more talent. Uh, obviously, Miami's dealing with guys that, that have been injured, as we as we noted. Is there a point for Miami where this is just like too difficult of a task between losing bodies and just uh, being out talented? You're up 3-0, but it's a seven game series for a reason. Like the NBA wants a seven game series because it does favor the more talented team, the better teams. Like, is this just inevitably someone was going to come back from 3-0? And was this just too much of a talent disparity potentially for Miami if this winds up happening? I would feel more inclined to that if Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo had played well in games four and five, especially like Butler had decent numbers in, in game four, but we didn't, I don't think we really felt him. They were both pretty poor in game five. Uh, the last two games after we've been singing Bam's praises for kind of consistently aggressive, he shot four free throws total in the last two games, including zero last night. And it was very much like observationally, it was very much back to the, oh man, this guy's gapping me. He's standing off of me. What do I do? I'm, I, I, I'm dribbling. I'm double clutching. I'm, he kind of had fake. a little bit of a, yeah, a little bit of a run of aggressiveness out of the pick and roll in the third quarter. But by that point, the game was largely over. Yeah. He, so, he had like four straight buckets or something when, when the they're game down was out 15. Of yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I, mean, I, I think, I, to, to, but I think that the, for the out talented, if your good players are playing well, like okay, the Lakers were out talented by the Nuggets. LeBron scores forty one, and it's still it's not quite enough. That's out talented. This is your best players. They might be out talented, but we'll never know if their two all star guys don't play well. Yeah, no, I mean that's that's the uh, uh, that's the problem for Miami right there, you know, and and yeah, I think they started the series out talented. And I think that they've it's those guys have played exceptionally well. Those role players have played exceptionally well. Uh, Gabe Vincent, who's obviously the injury after game four was a big one, right? Like that's a big hit for them going into game five and him being out. Caleb Martin has taken a couple of shots where Seth and I both have been like, all right, Caleb, chill. you might want to chill. Um, and then you have other guys that have kind of just Max Bruce has been somewhat quiet. The best players in game five for Miami was Duncan Robinson and Haywood Highsmith. Like that's yeah, you're losing that game every time. If Bam and, and and Jimmy aren't playing well, those guys need to be your role players in that stuff. Kevin Love has been very quiet throughout all this stuff. And I think that's I think that's the move we're gonna see. That's the move we're gonna see Miami make. Hey, we're not playing Kevin Love this game. Or very, very limited. I won't be surprised if he doesn't start. Like, I just can't see a situation where they allow Kevin Love to just be a target right off the bat for Boston to attack, like they did in game five. So I think those are the moves that we'll see in that stuff. But yeah, I mean, Boston has all the talent. That's why it won't be, it, it wouldn't, I won't be shocked if they win this, if Boston wins this and comes back because they're just so damn talented. I'm just going to be annoyed that they didn't do this from the start. I'm going to be annoyed because I wanted the Miami Heat to sweep this thing. I mean, I, I actually thought it was a good story that, that this team, um, this ragtag team behind Jimmy Butler w was, was, you know, kicking everybody's ass. Um, but this is the Boston team that we kind of expected to see it, it, when we got here. So, okay. So no Kevin Love. That's that's adjustment number one. Um, but what if Gabe Vincent's not available? You you just get to a point where Kevin Love is like one of your capable players. You're gonna have to play him, and then you're 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 stuck a little bit. Like, do you go Haywood Highsmith over Kevin Love? Like, are we at that point? I I mean, honestly, I think you do. The athleticism and just speed there. I don't think you, you can. Inconsistency from a young player and a, a role player is normal, right? Like, I don't know if you're going to get the same type of game you got from him in game five for game six. But just athleticism, length, you know they're targeting Kevin. When Kevin Love is on the court, Jason Tatum is just thinking, ooh, lunch. It's like right there, you know, and I think that's something that they didn't do well in the first parts of the series that they're they're going to focus on now. And I think the, um, I, I, you know, I get it. If Gabe Vincent doesn't play, I still don't think that means you have to play Kevin Love. It just means you're going to have to find ways to get 
creation from other places. Duncan Robinson off the dribble. You know, I think it's going to be one of those things. It's it's uh, uh, Caleb Martin, Max Struess. Those guys have to be better. It's going to be one of those types of scenarios where those guys have to elevate and raise their game to another notch. I don't think Kevin Love helps them even with Gabe Vincent out. Seth, you got anything else on uh, the Eastern Conference Finals? Um, I think we do have to. We we've talked a little bit, a lot about um, you know the Heat's guys not playing well. I think we do also have to. We haven't really talked about Boston's defense, and I think it's been much more locked in. I was just I was I was just looking up some stats. Miami hasn't necessarily generated the best shots all series, but they've gone from around twelve uncontested three point attempts a game through the first three to uh, a total of 12 um, in the last two. So that... Um, Mo, had they stopped helping off the, the strong side corner? Has yes. Boston stopped helping? Yeah, they've been they've been they've been much smarter about it and over rotating and things like that. It's almost flipped because now Miami has done that a little bit more often than than we're used to in terms of the over rotations and over helping. But I mean, they've done a much better job with that. I mean, they've they've gotten more discipline. But they're playing the passing lanes more. They're forcing some of these turnovers and getting out in transition. Like their offense goes hand in hand with their defense. And I think that's an important aspect for them is, and maybe that's one of the problems, but when their shots go in, their defense seems to be really good. And when they don't go in, their defense seems to be really bad. 